Hello everyone, my name is Beansprout and today I'm going to be making an updated modding guide for Doom Eternal because quite frankly my original one wasn't very good and many people had a lot of issues trying to install texture mods. So this updated guide is going to show you how to install the basics and texture mods. So the first thing you'll want to do is, is go to the Doom modding discord and then go down to Eternal Tools and then once you're in Eternal Tools scroll up until you see modinjector.zip. Okay, once you've installed the mod injector, it might say this file may be harmful to your computer. That is just because not many people download this file and it is completely safe from from the use that I've had out of it. Next thing you want to do is go to your platform of choice. I am on the Bethesda launcher. Click game options on Bethesda and show in folder and you'll be in Doom Eternal's folder. And for any Steam players out there, I'm going to demonstrate the files with Doom 2016 once again. You go and left click on Doom 2016, go to Browse Local Files, and you're in the game's files. Now that you are in Doom Eternal's files, go ahead and open up the Mod Injector file. Once you have opened the Mod Injector file, once you have opened the Mod Injector file, I want you to go into Base on Mod Injector. I want you to highlight all of these, copy, go to base on Doom Eternal folder, and click paste. Once you've done that, the mods folder here, you just take and you drag it into Doom Eternal's folder. And now the last part of this for the mod injector is the actual mod injector. You just grab this and drag it over into Doom Eternal's files and you're set to go. And now of course, the first part of this video is for gameplay mods only. So now I'm going to be showing you how to install texture mods. To install texture mods, you'll want to go and install the Eternal Patch Manifest. Go into base once you have Eternal Patch Manifest and just drop it in there. I'm not going to be repeating this because I could not find where to download this again. I'll link it in the description when I do eventually find it. Now that you've done this, you should be good to go, but for an example, I'm going to show you a couple mods and how to install them. So now, obviously, you'll go into the mods folder on Doom Eternal. So for a texture mod, I'd recommend actually getting one from Doom Eternal modding discord, because, well, there there's some pretty good mods in here. I'm going to go with the uh, Dark Matter SSG. Now that I have the Dark Matter SSG, I'm just going to grab it and drag it over into the Doom Eternal mods folder. Now, you do not need to extract it, you just drop it in. For gameplay mods, you do the exact same. Here is Trial of the Dark Lord. If I grab that, I just drop it in. Now what you want to do is go back in Doom Eternal folders and go to Eternal Mod Injector. Just run this, and if it asks you to press space at any point, and if your Windows thing says that it doesn't have you don't have authority to run it or anything like that then just click read more and click run anyway it's completely safe to use trust me so as you can see we have our skin and we are in horde mode trial of the darn lord but anyway that's about all you have to do to install the mod injector it's real simple actually and i thought i'd just make this video because i had a lot of people on my last video on this asking about how you install texture mods and having trouble with their game so i thought i'd just go and make another video and just clarify how you do that so if you did enjoy the video then give it a like and if you really really enjoyed it then consider subscribing i also have a discord you can join that and, well, yeah, join it if you need any further help, and I, you can talk to me there, and I'll help you with that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.